Welcome to Mike Schrader's Fish Room. Mike is a member of the Quad City Fish Keepers in Davenport, Iowa. Mike has been around the hobby for over 30 years, much of that time spent as a retailer in the area. He became a full-time hobbyist about two years ago though, and his interests stem mostly in cichlids, a lot of Lake Malawi, a few Lake Victoria, and a few Lake Tanganyika. There are a few other surprises around his fish room as well, including some catfish and some guppies. Mike filters most of the tanks in his fish room using box filters powered by high capacity diaphragm air pumps. These air pumps are rated for about 30 to 40 outlets. They're easy to maintain and they're very affordable. Downside to these pumps is they're a little bit loud, but the loudness is caused by a vibration. And Mike has found a way to alleviate the noise by hanging them using plastic ties from the beams in his fish room. Since Mike's fish room is located in a small space in his basement, he finds it easy to heat using a small radiant space heater. Some extra heat is provided by the house's furnace, which is also located in the fish room. Mike's hobby is breeding cichlids, and his fish room is laid out specifically for that purpose. Nothing fancy, but man, does he have the fish. Lots of them. Yeah, I mean, look at that. Yeah. He's dancing at me. That's one thing I've found over the years. I've had better luck keeping multiple males in tanks than the old way of keeping one male in there. Oh, I always try to keep at least two males, yeah. When you're breeding a lot of fish, you got to have space to raise the fry. Most of Mike's tanks are 10 or 20 gallon tanks with bare bottoms and box filters and packed with growing fish. Mike prefers to do infrequent water changes, only once every three to four weeks. But when he changes water, he changes a lot of water, lowering it down to the point where these fish are literally lying on their sides. Mike uses unfiltered buckets to start fry out in. I like the way he uses styrofoam with the names of the fish written on them to identify what's in the bucket. Thanks for the tour, Mike, and I look forward to the next time I get a chance to visit.